Okay, gang, let's try another one. So, again, this is U substitution. This is section 5.5. U substitution is the opposite of the chain rule. So, for integration, um, there is no, like, product rule. There is no quotient rule. So, those kind of... Um, those concepts don't work here. You have to use U substitution to fold it back up into finding the original function. So again, for the very beginning, I want you to look for who's the composite function, right? So who, who's going to make who, right? So like when you do the U sub, if I have a fourth degree, that's going to make a third degree. Remember in the last problem, I had a quadratic make a linear. It's that kind of idea. The quadratic will make the linear. The fourth degree will make the third degree when you do the U sub. So I'm going to take this higher degree, which is going to end up making this lower degree when I do the U. So U is going to be 1 plus x to the fourth. You take the derivative of this. So du dx is equal to 1 goes to 0 derivative of this is 4x to the third. Okay, then you want to split these things up. So you're going to get du equals to 4x to the third dx. Right, so at this point, once you get this information, you want to do the substitution. This is where the substitution comes in. So we've defined this guy as u. Now, if you notice, this is an x cubed dx, and over here I have a 4x cubed dx. So there's two ways to handle this. Um, some people will multiply by a 4 and uh, also multiply by 1 fourth to make it go to 0. Sorry, to make it go to 1. Uh, I'll show you just moving it over. But it, it's, there's two ways to do this. So what I did is I actually just divided this to the other side so that the x to the third dx, that's going to equal to 1 fourth du. Alright, so now I'm going to write the original problem in terms of u. It's going to collapse the inner layer. You can pull the 1 fourth out or leave it in. It doesn't matter because it's a multiplier. So for some people it's easier to write it out front. It just depends how you want to it's how you want to write it. It just means your answer is going to be 1 fourth larger. So again, you could put the one fourth here or you could put it out here, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I have to rewrite the radical, I have to bring it up to use the power rule, so let's go ahead and use the power rule now. And then don't forget, at the very end, you have to actually replace the definition of u into the um, problem. Because if, if you start with x, you have to end with x. One plus x to the fourth over Okay, and so in the very end, I plug it back in. If you want, some people may prefer actually just to pull the one half out like that. That may be easier for them. They may prefer the answer look like that. That's fine also. Okay, gang, that's this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll, I'll go through another one with you. Once you see a few, you'll just start to see how the pattern works. Okay, catch you again in another video. Bye-bye.